Yeah, as it is 8 o'clock, I'm going to call the Wednesday, February 16, 2022, meeting of the Garden City Council Finance Committee to order the clerk to please call the roll. President Kaczynskis? Present. Council Ronald Cormier? Present. And Council John Lawrence? Present. Okay. Um, Announcement of open meeting report. Is anybody here recording the meeting? Other than the city clerk? Uh, item 2-1, a vote to rescind item number 10561 in order rescinding order number 13009 in order appropriating $129,905 for free cash for this department and vehicle account. Uh, Mr. Mayor, if you would like to give us some explanations. Thank you very much, Madam President. This is something that the City Council voted to approve in this past November. Uh, however, since then, the the Department of the Treasury has amended the regulations for the American Rescue Act to allow for the coverage of paying for emergency vehicles uh, under the section of the law that allows the municipality to utilize these funds in place of lost revenue. Uh, while it says municipalities do not may not have a loss to show, it's something that if they did have the funding, they would purchase them. So this, that's how the Treasury was able to do that. Um, I did have a few councillors reach out after this agenda was posted and ask about the Treasury's new regulations, as well as an accounting for our rescue funds uh, that we've used so far and what the plan is moving forward. So I have drafted a memo that will be submitted for the full council's agenda for this coming Monday uh, for the council to view and then place on file. But uh, all of that information is on there as well. But since this does cover emergency vehicles in order to free up free cash and utilize uh, some of the funding for one of the items that wasn't on our original free cash budget list that we have put together. Uh, we're asking that the council vote to rescind this order so it frees up this $121,000 of free cash so that we can use it for a later appropriation request that's on your agenda. Well, I somebody else pay for this is fun by me. That's how we recommend it. So I guess. Motion to recommend passage before council. Is I just had a quick, quick question. Does the money fall right back to free cash, or is it like not coming back to free cash until the following fiscal year? So if the vote is rescinded, it immediately comes back okay. to free cash. If we were to just not pay it out of this account and just pay it out of our account, we wouldn't get it until the next fiscal year. Thank you. Other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 this has to do with the uh, downtown trash receptacles um, and the uh, director Saunders have requested that we purchase um, these new trash receptacles to alleviate concerns of the ones that are currently downtown. Um, and she um, there's a, a task proposal in our packet that we've all seen. Um, Mary, so you have anything to add? Uh, just that. Um these fall more into line with some of the requests that we've received from people in the downtown. We're, we're having open trash containers like that does lead to issues. We, uh, we've had a lot of raccoon issues in the downtowns with raccoons getting into the trash cans and throwing the trash around. Uh, them being open and not having a door makes it harder for them to pick up the trash. But we've had issues where uh, the trash kind of gets left until it needs to be taken rather than could be taken. Uh, so, exactly. So this should alleviate the look, let alone the ease of removing the trash. How many are we doing? Uh, this accounts for. Take a look. About ten. And these seem um, these seem like to be what other cities and towns have. I mean. Yeah. And, this is that's where Director Saunders kind of got the... Correct, yeah, and they're from MassCorp, so they are the, uh, the prisoners making them as part of the rehabilitation program, so they do come at a discounted cost to the city. Okay. Is there a motion on the floor? Uh, I'm going to make a motion to recommend. Seven. Mo motion to recommend passage of the Council. Is there a discussion? Madam President, I just, yeah. just as a reminder that retained earnings in the Enterprise account is their version of free cash. Uh, so this is money that was left over and fell to its to the solid waste enterprise version of free cash, but since it's an enterprise it just goes by surplus or retained earnings, the terms are interchangeable. So that's where this money is coming from. Thank you. Further discussion? All of the bears say aye. Motion passes. Item 2-3 in order of appropriating $9,800 for free cash to Keys Road Culvert Replacement Project account. Um, this appears to be some, uh, this is um, the appropriate
appropriate appropriation request is for um, tied bond to um, conduct a final design procedures, and that's the gist of it. Did you have anything you wanted to add? To yeah, that? just that this is a match for the grant that we received for one hundred twenty-three thousand dollars from uh, the Environmental Affairs Small Bridge and Culvert Replacement Program. Uh, this is to complete the design so that we'll be able to go back and apply for competitive construction grants that require this additional design work. And Director Duragar is the department overseeing it. Uh, who can answer any further questions? Director Duragar? Just one quick comment, if I may. Um, so we, we thought we had enough money for the design, but as we spoke to the state about applying for a construction grant, they told us as part of their review of the design, we need to incorporate a certain design feature. They have a new database that we need to uh, input data into for the project, and this $9,800 is going to pay for that. So it's actually a state requirement that we have to abide by in order to uh, complete our design and so apply for construction money. It's for a data input feature? Yeah, some new, yeah, some new uh, data. And that's required by the state? It is, yeah. And we didn't find out until after we applied for it. So the 123,000 is for the fire design process, and this 9800 is for the additional feature. You're correct. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just to be clear. Thank you. I make a motion to recommend this match grant. Second. Motion made by Councilor Corey, second by Councilor to recommend passage. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Item 2-4, in order appropriating $35,000 from free cash to subdivision regulation update project account. Thank you very much, Madam President. The last time our subdivision regulations were updated was in 2006. Since then, several of the governing statutes of the planning board and the departments who utilize those regulations to assist our residents who are looking at constructing subdivisions in the city uh, have been updated three times just within the Baker Polito administration alone. Uh, these should really be updated every 10 years. However, it's been a while uh, since these have been updated. Director Bureaucrat is here, whose department would over be overseeing this project, so we can answer any further questions you have as well. I did have a council reach out and ask where the money number came from. That documentation was emailed to you all yesterday and was included in the packet for this morning. It will be included should this move forward. Uh, the quote was obtained about a year ago, uh, but we did reach out and they did inform us that that uh, price was about uh, was expected to receive about a 10% increase uh, just simply because it's been over 12 months since it was requested. However, they were still the most qualified lowest on the uh, request list that we put out. Uh, so that's why this is moving forward. Thank you. Dr. Berger, do you have anything you'd like to add? No. no just to affirm that we've dealt with several times. Many times over the years. Yeah, BSC group, they did both of our urban room plans down yeah. there, down yeah. down those street. They also did our uh, zoning code update.
Councilor Cormier to recommend passage of the order to full council. Is there discussion on the motion? Madam President, if I just may add, uh, if you can remember the original dollar amount that was presented to the City Council was $81,000. That was the original estimate we received. Because the Attorney General's office is now fully involved, that is why we are not going back to the full difference between the $15,000 that was appropriated and the $81,000 that was originally requested. Because now that we can rely on some of their assistance, uh, we'll still keep it piecemeal and see what we have to do moving forward to be more prudent with the tax payment. Thank you, sir. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Right. Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Right. Item 2 8, an order appropriating $9,000 from free cash to the auditing professional services account fire slash ambulance operations by. Um, okay, Some, of, some members of the council have asked at a couple of meetings that we look at performing an audit of the uh, fire department's performances and finances, particularly with regard to the ambulance service that the city has offered now that we're in our sixth year of the ambulance service. Uh, Chief Lagoria asked around to three different companies for the, who utilize uh, these, who perform these services, I should say, and reached out to several of the departments who have utilized these services across the Commonwealth. And uh, Mr. Perros, uh, organization is the one that we believe to be the most qualified at the best price and cost of the taxpayers. Uh, Chief Lavoie is here to answer any technical questions you may have for that, but the proposal is attached as well. Thank you for that. Um, Chief Lavoie, did you have anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, I mean, I, I think it's a good idea to take a look at this. I mean, five yeah. years under our belt, um, it's certainly a prudent thing to do to see where we're at. Um, I'll make a motion. Yeah, one of the reasons I was one of those councillors that wanted this is obviously to, to see where we stand. But I also felt it would be a useful tool for the fire department to, to, to have somebody from outside looking in to, to help. They've done a great job. It's done better than I ever thought it would. I was reluctant when the fire department adopted this process. A little reluctant, but show me. They have. I thought this would be a useful tool in addition to we want to know how it would be its status. And I think its status is fine, but um, information is good, a fine tool. Also, maybe help you look towards the future, replacement of equipment or personnel or so on. So I'm happy to see this come up uh, strongly. I'm happy to see it as well. I think it was um, good to do so. I think it's too cool going to do more and, um, you know. Um, go along with everything that we need to have done. It's just good data to have. I think it will help the fire department in the future. So um, if we get it done now, you know, when we have it for the future. Any further discussion? We do have some sample reports that this firm has done for other fire departments in the past. Would that be helpful? Yeah, yeah sure. I think you can include it with the, with the full package. Absolutely. I think that will yeah. answer some questions. Yeah. Is there any information on how they implemented the reports to um, increase efficiencies or anything like that? I mean, we've talked to them about that yeah. too, Chief. Can talk a little bit more on that, but we do have the reports themselves as well. Yeah, the reports are, are outlines of, of mm -hmm. similar similar um, studies that have been done. Um, the reports don't really go into how the towns, you know, handled those. Um, but there's opportunities there to yeah, show what you right, could yeah, be done. Yeah. And that's kind of what it is. They're kind of providing you observations and you know, recommendations and to go forward. It's it's up to you know us to implement anything that is provided. In the scheme of things, I think it's a, a lower cost for you know possibilities of um, cost savings. So, support. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed no. Item two nine in order of appropriating. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. In order of appropriating one hundred twenty one thousand nine hundred five dollars in free cash to the school department as the <coughs> improvement account. Um, this has to go along with the um, recent of the order uh, previously. Uh, Mayor Nicholson. Thank you very much, Madam President. This is 
uh, like you said, something that we mentioned earlier when we were talking about the rescinding of the police department vehicles. This is something that came to my office as a request for a free cash appropriation. Um, when we first got free cash, it was something that wasn't on my original budget list for free cash, so that's why I hadn't originally made the cut, but now that we have this extra funding available for us to be able to cover the cost of the police vehicles, uh, that one explains why it's an equivalent amount and why it's uh, coming before the council now. Now this is something that would only put a dent into the full project that is there. The full project itself is expected to cost about $630,000. However, this is uh, a portion to cover it so that the school department can go through and utilize ESSER funds, which are grants received by the federal government, to do the remainder of the project. Uh, we have to put a good faith effort in on our own. Uh, so since this free cash was available for something that we didn't expect to have this free cash available for, that's why this down payment, if you will, is going towards the project. This a portion of the funding will go toward funding uh, the reseeding, grading, and uh, upgrades to the Stedman Field softball field at the high school, as well as implementing an irrigation system throughout the different fields and that section of the athletic fields of the high schools and between the high school and the middle school. And these fields will go forward to service Gardner High School, Gardner Middle School, and Gardner Elementary School when it opens its doors as well. So this really will have a large impact there. Um, the full uh, way this is working is uh, still being worked out in terms of how much ESSER funding is available. Is this going to have to be done in phases and things like that? But this does allow us to move forward so that we can start at least a portion of the project uh, at the end of the softball season, right when school is getting out, so that by the time the new school year starts at the end of August, early September, we have some of the work done so it's not too, too destructive to our students. Thank you. Um, any questions, comments from the committee? Is there a motion? Uh, I have a motion to recommend passage of the order. Second. Motion made by Council General Allen, seconded by Count, Councilor Cormier to recommend passage of the order to the full council. Is there a discussion on the motion? Madam President, if I could just add, what's included in the packet is the application that was actually submitted for the Rockwell yeah. uh, grant. That's why I wrote application denied in red at the top so that the council will be able to see that this isn't actually an application for the council. It was originally for the Rockwell. Uh, and then included in that, too, is also the engineering estimates and designs. Thank you. Okay. Uh, further discussion? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. Motion passes. Item 2 10, an order appropriating $40,000 for free cash to the building inspector of new vehicle expenses. Um, this, we have all the information for the vehicle in here. Mary, as soon as you have anything you want to add? No, just that the vehicle would not pass inspection, so we're looking to get it replaced, and we've had it since 2006. Thank you. This, the one that we're looking at is the used vehicle, right? Correct. We've been buying lightly used vehicles. Yeah, exactly. The used vehicle market is. Way out of Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Motion to recommend passage. Second. Motion made by Councilor General Law, seconded by Councilor Cormier to recommend passage of the order to the full council. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Just a full vote. Motion passes. Item 6 1, a measure declaring surplus for purpose of disposal of land in buildings at 177 West Street. Um, this this is six, item 6 2, I think. Are, similar in nature of explanation, but maybe I'll say that. Thank you, Madam President. They are both properties are properties that we took through tax title, uh, through different liens that we placed on the properties, not only with the uh, with taxes, but also other fees and items uh, liened on the property, particularly the at 177 West with the demolition lien on the property, uh, as you remember from last year. Uh, so the city did take full ownership through the tax title court. Uh, and we're looking at selling the land so that we can get that money back, and, uh, or at least a portion of the money back, and then uh, put the property back onto the tax rolls as they are not currently getting tax revenue because they're owned by the city. And prior to that, they really weren't getting tax revenue either because they simply weren't paying the taxes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, this one was a bigger thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. The, 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 when this property was taken in ownership by the city, uh, it owed $36,433.63 to the city in back taxes. The property record card for the assessor who currently has the assessed value at $43,200. That's why uh, I'm asking that the minimum authorization that, the, uh, that I be allowed to dispose of the property be the assessed value so we can recoup those back taxes and some of the other costs that were associated with it. Anything we can do to put it on the back? Drop in a bucket compared to what we 
be spent on it. That's history. Yeah. And then I make a motion to recommend passage. Second. Motion made by Council Cormier, second by Council General Lab to recommend passage of the order of full council. Is there, um, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, to recommend um, definition of surplus to the council. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Item 6 2, a measure declaring surplus for purposes of disposal of land buildings at 20 Long Street. Thank you very much, Madam President. This is another property that we took through tax title uh, back several years ago. This was actually demolished through CDBG funding through the uh, Gardner Redevelopment Authority and the Department of Community Development and Planning. Uh, that has since come down. There are two buildable lots at this location. Uh, when it was taken by the city, uh, the property owner owed the city $23,438.10. The property record card is currently assessed at $49,200. That is why I'm asking for that to be the minimum amount for us to be able to sell the property. For the reasons for the previous one as well, I recommend passage. Second. Motion made by Council General Lott, seconded by Council Cormier to recommend uh, the passage of the full council that um, it be declared surplus. For discussion on the motion? Uh, if I may just add, Madam President, okay. back. Where the other one was a shorter delta in between what the property was assessed at and what they owed us, uh, but this one where the demolition was taken down through grant funding, I'm hoping that between the sale of the two of them will uh, get a little bit more of the aggregate amount that we've spent in terms of city taxpayer funding versus grant funding back into the city treasury that way. Um, especially when this is two buildable lots, it's just more marketable that way, so that's why we are going with the full assessed value of that one. Just to try to see if we can get the aggregate amount. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion passes. I'll let you take the motion. Uh, is there anything in here? Anything further from anybody? No. I'll let you take the motion to adjourn. So, motion made by Councilor Dunlap, second by Councilor Conyers to adjourn.